One of the big concerns in music education today is budget cuts and programs being cut. Um, and my advice to uh, today's music educator is have a great program. If you have a great program and the kids are turned on, the parents get turned on, and they won't allow them to cut budgets. Uh, but you need to communicate with parents. Parents are so important. You need to bring them into the process so that they know what is happening with their kids, why their kids are benefiting from being involved in music. You need to have someone going to the school board meetings, whether it be one of those parents, which would be the best way, to keep you informed of, well, there, there may be some budget cuts coming up. How do we advocate for music now and not later. The biggest problem is doing things after the fact. If there's constant advocating for music and its benefits, if on every program of every band and orchestra and choral concert there's something on the back cover that talks about the research in music education and why it's so important for uh, every child and part of the, the uh, basic educational foundation and why the arts is so important, uh, you will have less problem when it gets to that budget time where all of a sudden it's cut and then you're going backwards trying to fight it. Uh, I mentioned before something about supportmusic.com. That is a perfect place for information to help you not have a budget cut. And there are places you can call. I mean, there are people uh, who work in conjunction with MENC, the Music Educators National Conference, NAM, the National Association of Music Merchants, who specifically will help school districts know how to fight their case. But the biggest strength for keeping a program is having a great program, because then the community won't allow it to go away.